Hello out there to all the friends of the Stamp Patties. It's Patty Chanel, and it's time for another uh, product training video. Um, last week, I posted a couple of cards on my blog that um, featured a medallion, and I received a number of emails from customers wanting to know how it was done. Um, I actually learned it from one of my downline uh, members, Christy, and so today the focus of our video will be for me to show you how to go about making the medallion for your greeting cards and scrapbook pages. Here we go. In order to make the medallion, we're going to need some of our Stampin' Up! product. We're going to need a one-inch circle punch. We're going to need some Tombow liquid uh, multi-purpose glue. We're going to need a piece of D, uh, designer series paper. We're going to need our paper cutter and then just a piece of um, scrap card stock. Okay, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is take the designer series paper. I'm going to leave the 12 inch length and I'm going to cut a strip about one and a half inches wide. Okay, now that that strip is cut, I'm going to take it and I am going to be doing like an accordion fold. I'm doing about a quarter um, or so, let me just double check it, quarter of an inch. Yep, pretty much right on, quarter of an inch fold. I'm folding it one way and then I'm turning it over folding it the other way, be sure to crease as I go along, and I'm going to do that all the way till I get down to the end of the piece of the paper. Okay, now that I've got the entire accordion folded all the way, um, I did neglect to tell you about one more supply. We are going to need a small piece of sticky strip. So we're going to put the piece of sticky strip on one end of the um, accordion and we're going to go ahead and peel the paper off. We're then going to take the accordion and we're going to turn it around and we are going to glue end to end. Now it's going to want to make like a cute little cupcake holder uh, but that is not what we are going to do. So we are, um, I'm going to leave that sit for a second and I am going to use my one inch circle punch and a piece of scrap card stock to punch out a circle. I'm going to use my liquid multi-purpose glue and I am going to put a pretty good size dollop in the center of that circle. Now I'm going to manipulate my little cupcake, my accordion, so that it is actually all brought back to the center, just like this. And then I am going to take my um, one inch circle that is full of glue and I'm going to put that onto the center of the medallion. Now carefully what I'm going to do just to keep the glue from running down the creases, I am going to go ahead and turn it back over and then I'm going to take my one inch cir circle punch and I'm going to let it sit on top of this for just a couple of minutes so that um, the glue has a chance to set. Okay, once the glue has dried, um, you then will have your medallion looking like this. Now I'm not going to actually put this particular piece on a card. I'm going to actually use this as an embellishment on the center of the card. So what I have already done on a piece of vanilla cardstock, I took my two and a half inch circle punch. I used the stamp set called Just Believe. I used Baja Breeze marker and Wild Wasabi marker and I colored directly onto the stamp um, and then onto some vanilla cardstock and punched it out with a two and a half inch circle. In addition, I also took a scrap piece of vanilla and again used the markers and used the border that's within that set and the Just For You. I used a couple of dimensionals to adhere um, that together and then you can see that this two and a half inch circle fits beautifully on top of the medallion. Okay, so I'm going to use another smaller dollop of the liquid glue on my medallion and that is how I'm going to glue my focal point to the medallion. I'm going to give that a second to set. And then I've decided I'm going to add one more thing to my medallion just to give it some real wow. I'm going to use some of our Baja Breeze glass glitter. And how I'm going to go about adhering that is I'm going to do a very small bead of liquid glue around the edge of our circle, our two and a half inch circle. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay. And then I'm going to take the glass glitter 
and I'm going to pour it around the edge of the circle just to add a little bit more bling. Ooh, love it. Love it. Okay, so I have also cut a piece of five and a half by eight and a half inch Baja Breeze cardstock, as well as some very vanilla cardstock. I've made one of my fork bows. Um, if you want to know how to make the fork bows, check out that video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere that to the center of my card. And voila, that's what it's going to look like. Check out the finished sample on my blog, www.stamppatties.com. Thanks for watching.